My exhibit is at the Tweed Museum of Art. It'll be up for two weeks. It's unrealized, it's the title of it. And that's a direct reflection of my belief that everybody's got these unrealized goals, unrealized dreams. My unrealized goal was getting my degree. I went to school here back in 78. Life happened. You know, I met my wife. Um, we started having children. I left school. I went to work for UPS. Um, worked for UPS for 30 years and retired um, about a year ago. So at that point, I said, okay, I'm retired. Now what do I want to do? Had a lot of uh, really cool experiences volunteering with the homeless in North Dakota. Um, in conjunction with art, uh, did a little bit of teaching of art on a, like a missions trip in in Africa and thought, you know, this is something that maybe I want to pursue, but I really probably need to finish my degree. I came back and uh, just so happens that they just added this new degree, um, which is integrated studies, you know, where I took all the classes I had in psychology and sociology and had to add the art pieces. So I've primarily focused on developing my artistic skill. I really find a lot of personal fulfillment in working with other people. So it's not so much about, I want to be an artist per se. I want to find ways to connect with people through art. In Grand Forks, North Dakota, I volunteered at some community ed classes. I had uh, a wheel set up, and at one point during the day, a homeless guy came up to me and kind of just stood there and was kind of watching. And I said to him, I said, well, would you, uh, you want to try? And he said, yeah. And then he sat down, and I looked at him, and, and I, it was a little awkward, I mean, really, and I said, can I put my hands on you? Can I touch you? And he goes, yeah. And so then I put my hands on him and then we, we together made a cup. And when that cup was done, I, I took the cup, I fired it, glazed it, finished it for him. I heard back that he had been going to every one of his AA, every one of his counseling meetings, and that at every single meeting he went to, he brought that cup. So it tripped with me that it's, you know, that it's that process that he made something, it was his, that achievement and psychologically based, that was success for him. That was the driving force for me to come back. And that's how that, I think that psychology and art has this potential to really, to, to change our world, really.